Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, we doing it. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jermaine, back with another video. Back with a walking tour video, and today, well, not a walking tour video, another in real life video. Today, we are in Sausalito, and I just got... I just uh, left that taco shop over there. And that taco shop is, I don't know, I've never been there. I heard it's, I heard it's really good from the Google reviews. I did not see anything on Happy Cow. There was like a couple of restaurants on Happy Cow, but they open a little bit later. And right now I am, I, I just want to eat now. Like I don't want to wait like 30 minutes till 12 for these places to open. But let's go for a little stroll. Um, I kind of walked through here a minute ago. I wanted to go by that taco shop to see, like, was it busy? It was kind of busy and I had a lot of music blurring. So I didn't want to hang out there. And there's a lot of really, really, really cool places you can sit along the water here. And I would rather hang out, like, you know, grab food to go and then go like hang out, sit by the water somewhere instead of like sit at the restaurant where it's gonna be loud, you know, I can show something like random. So a minute ago, I was kind of walking through here because, uh, you know, I came from over there and I kind of walked down because I wanted to go to, go to this taco shop. And they, it was this little cool area. It's actually very breezy. I was sitting in front of that taco shop for a minute when I was sitting in front of the taco shop, it was actually warm because it, it it just wasn't windy in that exact spot. So it was nice and warm. And I was thinking about taking my jacket off, but now I'm back here and I'm like, yo, it's chilly. So yeah, there's like this little random cool area where you can sit, which I don't know if I want to sit here. I want to find a place that's like a little bit warmer. But check out this bizarre thing. It has something to do with yeah, it's got something to do with, um, it's got something to do with the water. It's breezy out here right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here. We'll find some warm place to sit down and eat. Uh, if we continue to walk down, you know, there'll, there'll, there'll definitely be some places we can sit, but we can go for a little stroll and I can show you all some stuff around. Check out some of the houseboats. The one thing that Sausalita is known for are the houseboats. Like houseboats are really popular around here. And houseboats are pretty cool. Like you're like for real on the water, you know? Like on the water. I don't know how plumbing works. Like that, I don't know, don't ask me. I don't know. <laughs> how does plumbing work? <laughs> when you're on a houseboat. I'm sure you don't just dump it into the water. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because the water would, would, the water would be polluted with all those houseboats. I'm sure they got some sort of system. I don't know what system that is. Yeah. Now, it's definitely warmer over here. I can like feel the difference, like all the asphalt. Yeah, just over there by those trees, it's really warm. I'm actually gonna walk over here in the asphalt. It's like so much warmer right here. Dude, it's like super warm. <sighs> Feels great. Look at, the, look at these trees. They're like <laughs> just shaped like round and like funny looking. And look at all these hills up there. Some pretty cool places to live in the hills, huh? Okay, I am hungry. You know, Sausalito has some weird thing where like I think they can't give you like water free or something. Yeah, I didn't even ask the Mexican restaurant I went to. But I think that there's some like rule that they have that they can't give water out for free. Oh gosh, one thing I'm one problem I'm having with my camera right now is I got the front screen on the whole time. And I don't want the front screen on because it's going to make the camera heat up. So I need to probably stop. 
stop the video really really fast and then cut the front lens off we got some boats over here I am walking in the direction where I need to go back you know to meet the people um, that, that I came here with so I, I'm going in the right direction you know but I want to find a place that's slightly warmer. That place back there was like really warm. I probably should have just like posted up there for a minute because that would have been really, really cool. What is going on over here? Oh, it's like a little stream. Look at that like block square thing over there. <laughs> Looks like some construction. There's some old bike racks. Also, another like really weird law that they have here in Sausalito is you have to lock up your bikes at like designated bike places. Um, they don't want you to just like lock them up on a meter. Or they don't want you to just like lock it up like randomly. Pro probably over here would be cool. But. Yeah, but in, in the town, like along the street and all that. They're like, yeah, we want bikes in designated places. Huh? Kind of makes sense. That way it's not very cluttered with bikes everywhere. Wow, look at these boats. Now it's starting to get really warm because I don't feel the wind. I almost can take my jacket off. Ooh, it's still on. No, I don't think it's on. So many times the freaking jacket's on and I'm like indoors somewhere and I'm like hot and the jacket's on. The famous Sausalito bookstore. So what we'll do is we'll go over here somewhere. I don't feel like any wind right here where I'm standing. It's like dry. Not dry, but like it's not windy. I'm sure all of that will change in just, in just a one minute once we get closer to the water. Yeah, but this parking lot definitely makes it a lot warmer. Sorry that we're like walking through this board and parking lot in South Salida, but I'm just looking for a cool place to sit down and eat that's not too windy. I don't know. It could be in the sun. It can also, it can also not be in the sun. Is this my, my route? Thank y'all. South Salida. Okay, looks like we got some tables here. These are not exactly in the sun, but these are good enough. I almost want to go sit like, like close up on the water. Yeah, let's do that. Can we get like right here on the edge? How am I gonna how am I gonna talk to y'all? This will be a cool place. What up? Actually I think that place down there actually might be better. I think I walked down there to that one. Stick out of the bottom. Sorry. Is that the camera? Oop. 
I don't know if this is the camera's gonna get too hot if this is on. It's getting a little warm. Oh, just another day out by the water. Check out the water. Beautiful day out there, huh? What did they give me at that, that Mexican place? They gave me, um, well, how many sauces? A hot one? I don't know what that is, some sort of white sauce. Maybe that's sour cream. And then this looks like another salsa that looks like it's really good, actually. Like, this looks fire. Can't wait to try this one right here. Let's do it. Burrito. It's all right in size. It's not like the biggest burrito, but it's also not the smallest burrito either. Let's put it there. So like sticks in there. There we go. Anybody out there like burritos? Put it down in the comments below. Let me know if you like burritos. I've I feel like I've eaten so many burritos. It's just on on, on stream. It's like my thing. It's like you just eat burritos. And they're not always from Chipotle, like some folks would say. They're like, you only go to Chipotle. I like Chipotle, but I go to other places too. Like there's no Chipotle around here. Mm. This is really good. This is fire. Mm. People gonna say, yo, burrito eating. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's try this one. The green one's really good. It's not too hot. It's like real smooth, you know? I don't know what this one's gonna be like. This one, we'll see. All right. I said impressed. Mm. I said impressed. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> it almost tastes like pizza sauce. Oh really? Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It's not as good as the green one, though. The green one's popping. I got a, I got a really, really good mixture. Just up here. So, let's talk about something else. So here we go. Put the camera this way. Now I'm filming this on a GoPro, so I'm not, I don't have like the best camera to show you. But if we look over in this direction, in the middle there is a uh, island. It's Treasure Island. Uh, Boina, Boina Vista, Boina, yeah, Wea, Boina, or something like that. I, I, I butcher the name, I'm, I'm working on it. But in the middle, you know, you have the, you know, the rock and then the man made part, Treasure Island, because the Treasure Island's all flat. Then you have the Bay Bridge here, the Old Bay Bridge, the bridge with on the right. The bridge that has the double decker 
double decker freeway. And then on the other side, which you, you can barely see, is the um, new bridge. And the new bridge is exactly what it sounds new. looking at this burrito I'm wondering is this, is this cheese <laughs> I don't know <laughs> it doesn't taste like cheese but like it kind of looks like cheese <laughs> you know I did say I didn't want I said I wanted a burrito with no cheese but there are places I've been to where you order a burrito with no cheese and they still put cheese on there Yeah, I don't know, I think this is cheese. Mm. I don't know, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> they gave me a burrito with cheese in it. Um, I don't know, that's kind of messed up. You know how like how easy it is to just to just make a burrito with just rice and beans, right? With nothing else. But you would actually be surprised, like how many people have a difficult time like following those directions. <laughs> They're like, why don't why don't you want cheese? It's like I don't eat cheese. But you have to have cheese on your burrito. Like we can't make your burrito without cheese. Like they didn't say that, but I, I ordered. You know, I thought it would just be cool. But there's cheese here. That's really lame. <laughs> Uh, there's like cheese on one side, so maybe I'll like eat around it, but yeah, there's cheese on there. There's not a lot of cheese, it's like a little bit. Okay, it looks like I can like eat around it. Well, somewhat. Mm, it's only like a little bit of cheese too. Like did they start to make it with no cheese? They start to make it and they put like a little bit of cheese on there and then they're like, oh, take it off. Just give it to them anyway. Like, I don't know, this is so bump and so lame. Sorry, I gotta like eat it all weird. But, like, I don't wanna eat the cheese. <laughs> Ooh, that's so spicy. It has like some good pinto. It has some good spicy sauce on there, so I don't know what, it, what, what kind of spicy sauce it is. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, this burrito was like $15. Think about it. Rice and beans, that's like the cheapest ingredients. And cheese costs more than rice and beans. Um, also, yeah, there's definitely cheese on there. Um, but, I don't know. I probably won't go back to that place. I just wonder like why they put rice on there. Maybe they like, no, why they put cheese on there. Maybe they did it on mistake and they didn't want to re remake it. But that's super lame. I 
I don't know, I'm actually curious, like how much is like a regular burrito there? Yeah, it's definitely cheese. Like, I'm looking at it here on the ground. Yeah, it's definitely cheese. And I said, like, hey, I'm vegan, but... I guess that, like, means nothing, you know? It's, like, so not cool. That's a lame. Sorry to be a downer, but, like, this is just what I experienced. <laughs> Oh, I was really nice to them too. It wasn't like I was like, hey, I'm vegan. I didn't say vegan at all. I just said, um, I, well, I did say vegan, but I said, um, can I just, oh, can I order just a burrito to go and then uh, just rice and beans with salsa? And she, uh, it was like a chick and she was like, no cheese, no meat? And I said, no, 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 just rice and beans. Yeah. Surprise, it come with cheese too. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, let's um Let's go for let's go for a little walk or something. You can see the city right over there poking out. There's this restaurant here that is on the on the water there. It's like a cool restaurant, actually. I mean, imagine your house being on the water like that. That would be pretty flat, too. Like, go outside and, like, you can just hear, the, like, the water underneath, like, go through. You know, imagine the parties you could have. Oh, we just out by the water? <laughs> Let's go explore. <laughs> Looking crispy out here. Salsa leader on our quiet day. It's like another restaurant down there. I want to sit here for a second. This looks pretty fly. Ah, oh, it's so warm. Oh my gosh, the ground is so warm. Ah. Listen to the water rush up against.
Well, I'm a little bummed with the restaurant putting the cheese on there. <laughs> you know, it's like, yo, that kind of sucks. It's like, why you gotta do me like that? It's like, that's not cool, yo. <laughs> I'm not like walking around. <laughs> I mean, there are like shops and stuff like that, but I don't want to really go. Uh, I already got burned up here already once today. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> with that freaking burrito with the cheese on it. <laughs> All right, let's go walk around. Whee! It's like the wind's picking up. So usually in the afternoons, definitely the wind picks up. If you are like going, taking the Golden Gate Bridge on a bicycle and you're like leaving Sausalito going back to the city, once you cross the bridge, right now it might be like a lot easier to to ride down because you're gonna have the wind pushing you versus if you were coming from the city trying to get here you're gonna go you're gonna have to go up against the wind and the wind will push you <laughs> yes it will push you it'll send you a line yo you'll be like yo i was just once chilling and now i'm like i'm just like blowing like crazy on my bike and i'm using so much energy just to go you know the same distance when if it's if it wasn't windy it would just be super easy to you know cycle over but the wind slows things down a little bit so quiet right now so i think there's this little town not a little town but there's like this little area that's like really close by i'm gonna try to go over and see if i can find it without getting too lost because the the i think the meeting time is like pretty soon i think it's in like 20 minutes so i'm gonna try to walk over and see this thing really fast and then they get back over here and meet up and then go. Maybe I can try to get something to drink too because I saw some water fountain over there. Maybe I can try to go back by there. I think that area I'm talking about is over here. There's also an ice cream stand. That, that, that's a really good ice cream stand. I don't know if I'm gonna have to like find it on a map. There's a really good ice cream stand around here. I think it's like just right over here. Now, once you get here, this is like, this little viewing area. They have ferries that like leave. They go to like the city. And then I think, they, I, I think they go maybe somewhere else other than the city as well. See, they're really big on these on. They're really, they're really big on bikes. And I want you like locking your bikes up everywhere. <laughs> they're like really strict. I mean, of course in the city, like, you know, you lock your, bike up like anywhere like you're walking up to a freaking tree don't do that around here man i don't know what they'll do i don't know if they'll like cut your lock or give you a ticket or something but just don't do it yeah. well yeah well that's the bike parking over there now over here is where you get out to the main street i want to say like that area was like somewhere over here but i don't see it anymore that looks like a gate over there, around that corner. 
San Salito have all these really, really cool park areas. Like, check out this park. I think I've, I think I've been to this park before, but... Check out this park. We'll go over there in a second. I'm just... Yeah, just wait. It's like some people walking. I'll just let them go first. All right, let's go. This reminds me of Santa Barbara a lot. Just this large open. Just this, this park with this greenery. I and mean, look at these stairs across the street. That looks pretty wicked. Yeah, this is the town of Sausalito. Check this out. I kind of feel like this video, like I didn't really show off Sausalito, but I, I kind of like um, I, I, I kind of need to eat really fast, and I wanted to make the video of eating and then leaving. I'll come back to Sausalito and do another walking video on Sausalito some other time. But for now, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Yes, yes, yes. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. If you watch to this much in the video, put 37 in the comments down below. And that way I'll know that you watch this far into the video. But for now, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.